Well, I am inside the Museum of Natural History. The Museum of Natural History in Florence, of Florenzi, Italy, or Italia. And this is an uh, ancient uh, castle from the uh, uh, 12th century, you know, around Da Vinci and Michelangelo and uh, the Medivigis. This is one impress impressive building. Notice there is a uh, cover so birds cannot fly in. So it's all covered up. So yeah, the, uh, Florence is the capital of Tuscany, and uh, they were very influential during the Middle uh, Ages or after the Roman Empire collapsed. But these guys are also uh, uh, Visigoths, Ultragoths, and uh, Lombards. Now this, I believe, is uh, the famous Michelangelo uh, carving. I forgot what the name of it is. It's either Michael ja, uh, Michael uh, Angelo or, or, or Da Vinci or one of these famous fellows. They carved this. Now it's inside the uh, the plaza. It's an alligator with wings, but actually it's a dragon. It's sort of like a dragon. And it has wings on his feet, if you notice that. And of course it's naked. He's proportionate a little too small. Personally, I think <coughs> uh, they always uh, put the proportion too small, except uh, in, uh, in Pompeii, you know, the Romans before these guys did a more natural shape of the human body. And you can see the details on the sandals. I mean, it's, it's amazing how they carve a stone, a piece of rock, and make it into a, into a, a human and a dragon figure. And I always say they, uh, the ancient guys already knew the uh, uh, dinosaurs existed because they, they, they painted a lot of dragons. So they, somebody found a skeleton of a uh, dinosaur and they assumed they were dragons. So yes, uh, I think they, uh, the ancients, ancients they, weren't, they didn't know what it was, but they know they existed. And of course, they every saying they, they did, they, uh, they assumed there was some kind of God or something mythological. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to continue the visit through the, uh, through the museum.